Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of The Daily. It's Wednesday, May 25th, here with Simon Borg. I'm Nick Fershaw, and Simon, let's start with some action from Tuesday night, a U.S. Open Cup play and match the Chicago Fire on their way to the U.S. Open Cup for the 14th consecutive time. They knock out the San Jose Earthquakes. And the way this happened is unbelievable. San Jose Earthquakes up to nothing at home, allow the fire back into it. The equalizing goal coming on a mistake, according to reports from San Jose Reserve goalkeeper Andrew Weber. Uh, and then they went to PKs. By the way, the Fire played a man down during overtime. Uh, they went to PKs, and Sam Cronin, Scott Seeley missing their PKs, striking the crossbar on both occasions, Chicago through. And the Chicago Fire, uh, you said it, moving on. They've had a great success uh, in this tournament before. They've won it four times, so see if they can make another run. This year, one more U.S. Open Cup bid at stake on Wednesday night. The New England Revolution at Sporting Kansas City. You can catch a live stream at SportingKC.com. See who makes it uh, through that one. Let's move on to the Neutralite Canadian Championship. The second leg of this series, uh, the Vancouver Whitecaps at Toronto FC. Simon up at BMO Field. What do you expect from this one? Well, Toronto FC has a slight advantage. It was 1-1 in Vancouver, so Toronto has that away goal playing to their advantage. Vancouver knows they have to go to BMO and score goals. Question is, how are they going to do it? They had a bunch of chances in the first leg they couldn't convert, and they only have one goal in their last three MLS games. So that's going to be the question. How does Vancouver score? That game, 8 p.m. Eastern, and if you're up in Canada, you can catch that one on Rogers Sportsnet. Uh, let's move on to a pack night in MLS regular season action. The New York Red Bulls playing host to the Colorado Rapids out at Red Bull Arena. 8 p.m. Eastern, match day live. What do you expect from this one? These next two matches for the Red Bulls, very important if they really want to gather some points before they lose a bunch of players to the Gold Cup. They're already going to be without Dane Richards, who will join Jamaica. And by the way, Rafa Marquez injured for them, and he's going to be heading to join Mexico's uh, Gold Cup team. Uh, Red Bulls want to win this game. Terry Henry saying it's a must win against the Colorado Rapids. Well, for the Colorado Rapids, definitely some offensive problems lately. Let's see if they can crack the code against a very good New York Red Bulls defense. Uh, moving out west, the Seattle Sounders going to play host to FC Dallas. That's at 10 p.m. Eastern on Match Day Live. And Simon, this is a Seattle team coming into form and a very good FC Dallas team. This is why this is probably the best game of the day uh, because they're two teams that both pretend to be at the top of the Western Conference and both playing well after making some adjustments to their tactical formation. Seattle going with the diamond last week, it resulted in a victory. And Dallas now with a two forward alignment, uh, really using the speed of Fabian Castillo and Marvin Chavez. So a very entertaining matchup set for Quest Field. One last uh, MLS game to get to on the West Coast. The LA Galaxy playing host to the Houston Dynamo. 10.30 p.m. You can watch that one on Match Day Live. And Simon, this is another team. The Galaxy tops in the power rings. They've played very well lately against the Houston Dynamo team that has exceeded expectations this season. Yeah. The Galaxy will be without David Beckham, which is an advantage, obviously, for the Dynamo that don't have to deal with his set pieces. And the Dynamo, they won a big result against one of the contenders in MLS. They got draws against Real Salt Lake, two draws against the Red Bulls. They want to prove to themselves they can actually defeat one of the league powers. Well, one last game we want to mention, the Portland Timbers playing host to Dutch Champs Ajax, 10 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. You can catch a live stream on PortlandTimbers.com. And for Simon, for those who haven't uh, caught the latest edition of the Tito Libre podcast, we had Rafa Marquez and Fabian Castillo of FC Dallas. Despite being injured, Marquez spoke to our own Cristel Valencia and talked about what's in store for the Mexican national team leading into this Gold Cup. And then we spoke to Castillo, and it was a very candid interview. He spoke about his relationship with Seattle's Freddy Montero and how they both grew up together in the Deportivo Cali ranks, live together as well. Uh, they face off tonight. Well, you can always catch Tito Libre on iTunes and Buzzsprout. And for all the latest headlines in the MLS world, log on to MLSsoccer.com.